All right, good um, evening, Taurus. This is going to be for you. All right, Taurus, I'm getting you. I don't do you guys too often, so it's kind of weird. All right, let's see what we got here. Sign of Taurus. Let me get for Taurus, please. What's going on with the Taurus? Yeah, it's been quite a while, but I haven't really been doing a lot of readings. And I do have some signs that I just energetically connect with. A lot more so. The more you tune in, and, you know, even if I don't put up, like, tarot videos, I post a lot of, like, nature stuff. And if you're into tarot, you should be into nature. And, yeah. But, you know, this modern day, it's just a trendy modern day thing nowadays. So, people don't actually go out and do it. They just quote it, you know, and make it look like they do. All right. I saw the two of cups. Taurus. All right. We have the six of cups. We have the five of cups at top at the top. So I'm getting cutting your losses. We'll see. Maybe that's just an individual message. All right, let's get for the Taurans here. For Taurin. All right. What do we have for Taurus? For Taurus. Oh. We have here the Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Oofta. All right. So I feel like you're trying to, like, be at peace with some type of heartbreak or something. Something that's really got you in your thoughts here something that really hurt you you haven't been able to let it go yeah i feel like you really think about it a lot and it's like i feel like every time you have a fight you just want to like walk away yeah there's a lot of gossip going around too and that's probably not making it any easier but it's like you just want peace in life. You just want to be able to just have peace of mind, be able to rest and feel, you know, at peace, not heartbroken. All right. The Torin. Three of Swords, Four of Swords. I feel like, yeah, there's something really nagging at you. Really, really nagging at you. I'm getting four. All right, so there's something here that's really bugging you. It's like, and it's this sword here. All right, you're laying on that sword. Give me for the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords here for Taurus. So you're really in your thoughts. No wonder I'm doing you next. Hopefully you're not dealing with the Libran. Because that was some fucking... Ugh. Hopefully you're not the one dealing with them. Ooh. The High Priestess. Yeah. All right. So there is some type of information that's being revealed to you. I feel like there's going to be some type of secret or something's going to come out. And I'm feeling like you may be dealing with the Libran because, yeah. Something's going to come out. Yeah. I feel like somebody is revealing the devil here to you. Or some really low vibe uh, behaviors here. But let's see. All right. Let's get for the high priestess and the eight of wands here. 
we have the judgment card. I feel like, yeah, you're regretting not listening to something. I feel like you're probably going to end up calling something out here. Yeah, it could it could be a definitely it could be dealing with the Libran. But there's I feel like you know, but you just need some type of confirmation. That's what I'm getting like you need the confirmation all right let's we have here the knight of wands and the two of pentacles so yeah i feel like it's that trashy energy that was in the libra reading it's like you keep going back and forth is this person doing this you keep going back and forth all right you're watching you're paying attention but i feel like that just brings drama no matter what you do, I feel like there's just drama, drama, drama. They keep an eye, you're keeping an eye on, is what, that's what I'm getting. And I feel like you're, like, thinking about all the things that were communicated also during an argument or an argument that could be coming up or there could have been several But I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing here. And in the other reading, there was love bombing going on. Yeah, we have the justice here with the ace of. It's like, yeah, it's like you you feel like this person's out doing some shit. And there you are, worried, feeling defeated, feeling as if you don't have a say. It's like, I feel like you want to take action. But... And move your family and take your family the fuck out of here and just take a leap of faith and just scoop them up and be out. Because I feel like, yeah, it's like there's just a lot of ego. There's a lot of arrogance and a lot of just narcissistic one-sided energy. And the golden narcissist showed up for Libra. And here they are focusing on what they want, the things that they want to do. They don't care if you're over here stressed and worried and whatever they do what they want because and they have an ego trip but i feel like the truth is going to come out it's going to set you free all right and if there was a one night stand like in the other video it ain't your kid and i feel like you worry about that to the point where you you want to know but you're afraid because you know you're right we have here, there's so much confusion and smoke and mirrors. All right. I mean, you can't make this shit up, guys. There's gossip that goes around. Yeah, it's like somebody here is a very toxic individual. All right. And I feel like you're dealing with that person. And it's like. You're watching. You're paying attention here because I feel like you hear a lot. Yeah, we have the moon here. Somebody is doing a lot of shit for extra attention. All right. I'm just going to leave that there. All right. It's like there's a lot of paranoia here. But guess what? What's done in the dark comes to the light. I feel like this narcissist, this lover of yours. Yeah. What's done in the dark is going to come to light. And there's... Yeah. Endings, completions. All right. You're paranoid, but you have a reason to be paranoid. You have a reason to feel that way. But I feel like a lot of heaviness is going to go away. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. And you guys um, have a good night.